are ahead of the game, my friends. Where are we going? We're going to the post office. Whoa! Let's take a little gander at what we're shipping today, ladies and gentlemen. That, my friends, is a free priority mail flat rate envelope. With my eBay auction discount, because I am a power seller, this comes out to be $5.60 with insurance up to $100. Inside that, I have a Samsung main board for a TV. Now, you guys are like, what in the world? A main board for a TV? Christopher, it'll make some sense. I don't know what you're talking about. So, during my dumpster diving adventures, I find TVs. Sometimes they have broken LCD screens, which is unfixable. You might as well just get a brand new TV. So, what happens in that circumstance you power it on, you make sure everything is working correctly, except for a crack down the middle or a cracker on the side or a punch in the middle of the TV if you throw a Nintendo Wii nunchuck at it. But anyway, so the parts are still good inside. The power supply, the speakers and all that stuff. The speakers don't really go for much money. They can sell, but you typically want to sell parts that will actually break eventually. Power supplies, main boards, stuff like that. So that is what I'm selling right here. All that fun stuff, and I got a lot more with that. That came from but to each their own hey would you look at that see that's what I'm talking about guys that is the type of TV that you want to find I actually found that one I think you guys already know that in the man cave currently right now but I need to go and do some stuff and I got more stuff oh my goodness gracious yeah I got that other TV whoa not that one the other one behind the car Woo! goodness gracious too much to do Look at this guy, looking real good with this chopper, three-wheel chopper here, huh? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. You guys ever seen that YouTube video where like people are like out and about, they're just regular shopping or going to like Trader Joe's and it's like a song, I think it's like a remix of like uh, some ladies are getting together and they're like, I'm going grocery shopping in my active way, my active way. It's just for like kind of kicks and giggles, like meaning that, you know, all these people, they dress up in their gym clothes and they're just going to like Target. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like right now. I got my cutoff sleeve shirt on, going to the post office. Hey, hey what you doing today? What kind of what kind of sweat are you getting today? You getting that good sweat? Yeah, man, I'm going to the post office in my active wear, my active wear. You gotta check it out, guys. Funny, funny. Well, another quick story on the way home right now. So I have a question for you guys. If money was not the reason for the job. Obviously, we're all trying to, uh, so let me let me break it down real quickly. I love asking questions. Sometimes I ask my wife these questions like, hey, what if you found $50,000, what would you do with it? And like some people like think it's silly to ask questions like that, but I just think it's fun. It's a fun game to play. So my question for you guys is, obviously we're all trying to make a dollar. We're all trying to hustle and make some money so that we can provide for our families, live in a nice house, have a big TV, have an Xbox, etc. right? So, if money wasn't the issue or the driving factor in the job, now I'd say probably upwards of 80% or more of people hate their jobs and they're just doing it to provide for their families, right? Or maybe not hate their jobs, but they definitely rather be doing something else. So, if money wasn't the driving factor in the job and you already had money in the bank but you were bored and just wanted to do something for pleasure, what job would you do? That is the question of the day. And you can go ahead and leave your answer in the comment section below. And if you are younger than working age, go ahead and just put a dream job like you know for you kids if you guys want to work at GameStop put I want to work at GameStop you know what I'm saying and so let me answer the question for you guys as well so what I would do is of course I don't think I would want to do anything that ties me down to a schedule we've talked about this before look at the vlog driving around in metal cages that's the name of the vlog I think it was about two three weeks ago so I want to stay with the freedom of not being tied down to a schedule. So what I would do is I would do pretty much the same thing I'm doing now, but alter it to more travel vlogs and being a little bit more interesting with travels and doing fun things. If you guys remember an old school show, 
This was pre-YouTube, pre all that other stuff. Like back in the day day, you would have shows where guys would travel around, women would travel around. I think actually she got her fame from that show, Model Brooke Burke. She used to do a travel show and she used to go to Ibiza or Americans pronounce it Ibiza. And she would go around and just travel and taste food. Kind of like Anthony Bourdain, but Anthony Bourdain doesn't do anything fun. <laughs> he just sits around and eats all day. And that's not really my cup of tea. I would want to do a travel show. And speaking of which, the honey Jones. Are you guys familiar with The Honey Tackles the Globe? That is my perfect show. I think they actually canceled it after I think the second season or first season, but he it was a Cardinals football player, The Honey Jones, and he did a show called Tackle the Globe. You can actually download the episodes on iTunes. I've actually done a couple of those episodes already on iTunes, but I loved his show. So he had this adventure show where he would go around the world doing fun activities, then trying the food of the culture of the area. One time, I think in the Italian Alps, he did cycling, Rio, he did beach volleyball. This was all like old school ago, you know what I'm saying? And then there was a couple others, I think he did like surfing and some other things like that. So guys, that is the type of job that I would do was I would probably create something like that but throw a little bit of personal flair in there now he definitely has awesome flair really cool guy and they actually used him in some of the episodes for the Olympics the honey Jones he's the guy that always wears the boat ties anyway guys awesome show I definitely recommend taking a little gander at that as we pour out a nice pour out fill up warm up a hot cup of coffee 608 p.m. in the evening we got some stuff to do before the missus gets home so let's do it all right ladies and gentlemen this right here is the big dog 50 inch right here we need to find out what's the deal with it unfortunately I powered it on I heard some clicking noise it actually doesn't fire up completely most likely it's a bad cap probably one bad cap on the power supply not exactly sure we're gonna have to pull off the back to figure it out unfortunately I thought it was gonna be hundred percent in the books but that is what it is is, guys it is what it is sometimes you got to add a little bit of effort to it to get yourself the free 50 inch tv so let's go ahead and pull off the back of it let's go ahead and take a look at the caps and hopefully i'll be able to show you guys a few tips and tricks if this ever happens to your tvs now panasonic do send off blink codes so that is something you need to do as well make sure it's plugged in powered on and it'll actually blink down here in the corner or wherever the power source is right here so if i put on the power if plug was plugged in that would light up red and then like, let's say six blinks, pause, and then six blinks again. Research what six blinks means for Panasonic TVs. And then you are good to go, my friends. This is a plasma, by the way. Cooking up some delicious omelets tonight. Take a look at that tomato and avocado. We're just missing spinach. Bummer. Current time, 9.08 p.m. Wow, look at that omelet. Spread some organic hummus on top, baby. Let's do it. What's up, guys? Current time, 11, 12 p.m. And if you're hearing some rattling, that's because we got some of those shelving units back there. Unfortunately, Mr. Sleep Slot, Mr. AKA Bed Bugs, Mr. I Have 100 Kids does not need that shelving. Again, those are kind of the like wood shelving, exactly like I have in my garage already. The neighbor that was moving out, the one that I got the gym mats from, he actually uh, was trying to hook up one of the neighbors with those shelving units. I remember, I, I think I told you that, guys, right there, see, right over there. So anyway, so unfortunately I couldn't use them. A little too wide for my garage and Mr. Sleep Slot couldn't use them for his garage. He just doesn't have the room either, guys. So I'm just gonna take them down to Goodwill. They're guaranteed to sell at Goodwill, you know what I'm saying? If not, now the only bad part about this, guys, is most likely someone might come along and steal the metal for metal scrapping and use the wood for construction, you know what I'm saying? Now, we've talked about this in the past, about mint for Goodwill, and people sometimes come by and steal. I've seen it plenty of times. Hopefully people are honest, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, it just does not fit in the drop box and I can only use my wife's car to drop this stuff off with and so guys unfortunately I just can't actually get to an actual Goodwill location while they're open and so that's why I love the drop off box so just on my way down there now we're gonna drop this good stuff off I need to rearrange the garage because I was working on that TV for a little bit this evening and then had a nice little omelets with the missus watching a little bit of 
Netflix, so I just needed to chill back a little bit, so did she. Alrighty, we're looking good though, guys. And guys, sometimes I wish definitely I knew people that needed this stuff that I can like bless them. But sometimes you just gotta rely on God to bless other people through goodwill. Maybe they're able to pick it up for cheap or something like that. But again, you know, you kind of just like, you know, get it out of your hands and put it in someone else's hands. But what is good is though, even though Mr. Sleeps A Lot or myself couldn't take it, at least I helped out the guy that was moving out, my old neighbor. All right guys, I think I figured out the problem with the TV. It's gonna be that little board right there. That's the culprit. Unfortunately, it's getting too late and I need to order the part so we're gonna get that action in the books baby I'm in my garage man cave right now we're just hanging out relaxing right now gonna organize that put that up against the wall there after we dropped off those boards over there we're looking solid guys there's the vitamin shop hall right there quest bars we'll get to that in trash treasure God bless you guys God protect you remember to carpe diem baby live your dream and I'll see you guys tomorrow later What's up, dudes? Cool. Nathan again here. Um, today, I just wanted to infiltrate some amazing new tips that have worked like tremendously for me lately. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hit you with them right now. We're gonna make this one just sweet. Um, as you can see with my awesome um, uh, snakeskin printed shirt, man, this has been a hit with the girls.